Hello viewers, this is uh, episode 3 of Excel Office 2016. I need to show you how to do various functions in Excel. And we're going to start with the, about the conditional formatting. In this case, you need to highlight all the figures. And once you highlight all the figures required, for example, up to there, then you have something called conditional formatting, whereby you can come here and you put the greater than sign, you put the less than sign in between, or equal to among others. In my case, I need to deal with the between. As you can see in this case, you need to do with uh, there is something called uh, condition formatting. First, you highlight all the figures, then you go to the condition of formatting, highlight cells, uh, rules, and you go to the between, you have greater than and less than. You click between. Then you come now write the figure that you want. For example, in this case, I may want uh, to put, for example, I need from 5,000, uh, from 5,000, uh, from 5,000 uh, up to up to something to do with the 30,000, for example, or 40,000. I think there is between 5,000 and 50,000. Then from there, you can come here and uh, with, and you can click custom format. As you click custom format, you can come here. You choose, for example, I need it, uh, italic. I can come here. I deal with the color that I want. For example, I may put even more colors here. And I choose, for example, uh, blue, the blue that I want. For example, that one, I say OK. Then I can choose, for example, if I need a single underline, I can put, in case I need to strike through, I can just come and put, strike through. But in my moment, that one is okay. You have something called to border and fill, but in my case, I need to do with, to deal with that one. Then I should click OK. Once you click OK, just click OK again. And automatically, you see the figures which have with blue colors are the one which have highlighted between 5,000 and 40,000. We have others with the green which are less than 1,000 and another one which is more than 40,000. You can see they are indicated with uh, red and underlined, double underlined. But with a single underline, they are between 5,000 and 30,000. That is how we do conditional formatting. It means you are formatting but using various conditions. That is how you do formatting for those different uh, figures, as you can see, and you have other information. For this one, you can now choose to put the border and shading. And just highlight the entire uh, information up to there. Once I write up to there, uh, then I can choose uh, to put borders and shadings. I need to go to format, you go to uh, add a format, you click format cells, then you have a border here, and in this border now you can see, you can come here, you put outline border, and I, for example, I need a double border, I can choose, uh, for example, the color I need here, for example, that color, uh, then I can put now the outline. Or else I can choose the different colors. So I can see we have different various colors. For example, green. I put outline. As you can see, the dotted one. I choose now the color I want. For example, the other one I can choose more colors. And I come and choose, for example, uh, that color there. And I click OK. Uh, then from the example, I click inside. As are you? So, it look like we have the fill fill you can come i put the fill effect and i combine i put the combination of two colors for example i may choose yellow i combine with another different color for example that color and i put that one and i click ok once i click ok i can click ok again and that's how automatically it will be uh, formatted that is the borders and shadings the other thing I need to do with this one is now to insert a pie chart and other different types of charts. I can use this field 
for code employees you highlight entire employees there once you highlight the entire employees there that means something else you should do is that you need now for example i need to do the net pay for this case it means to highlight this and the other column for net pay you must hire you must hold control you must hold control in the keyboard you must hold control in the keyboard uh, once you highlight that one then from there you come to net pay and now you highlight but in case you don't highlight then it means that at the other day it will deselect automatic it means you have to highlight control to hold control once you hold control then you come to not pay and you highlight uh, net pay at the same time up to there and as you can see now both of them now have been highlighted this is between the net pay we have the employees and the other one for net pay now after highlighting both of them you can go to insert and you have now about the charts we have different types of charts we have line charts we have uh, Quorum chart, Daphnet, among others. My case, I can come and choose pie chart. As you can see, when I insert menu, just come to charts and you have different types of charts. I may choose that one as you can see how it looks like. I choose that one, you see how it looks like. We have that ones, we have that ones, and we have many of them. In my case, let me choose this one. Because I choose that one, you see, it have indicated net pit there. I can just click there. And now I type employees. I type employees. Employees against 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 netpay against netpay. Once you put uh, against, for example, against NetPay, uh, then now from there we have now this. Um, uh, you, can, you can now uh, come, you see the information there as per this one. Uh, once you put this information here, you can right click here and click. Uh, add data labels as you can see and automatically that is how the chart will reflect the information but because you need to, to put just because it overwrite some of the information will be an opaque to some information just right click on the chart area you click move chart and choose now the worksheet which is empty for example sheet 5 and I click OK and this is how automatically to move to another different chart. Then you right click here and you type uh, rename and you can put now the name uh, pie, pie chart uh, netpay. It will be a bit easier for you at least to differentiate when you are dealing with the different types of charts. That's how you work on that one. You can choose this chart and you right click. You click to form a chart area. And now you can form a chart area with the different kind of colors. For example, you have this one for solid. You can put this for solid of different color there. You have the, for the gradient here. And you can come and choose different gradients. For example, if I need this kind of a gradient, I can just come and put that one. If I need a different gradient, I can just come and choose, for example, that gradient. And you have this one for radio, radio among others, for this one to which one you want to choose. That is how you format a uh, pie chart. Let me try to insert now a different one. I need to go to uh, this information for employees there. And then I need to do uh, or to have something else. For example, this one I have the student record, and I need now to put all the information up to Excel. That means in this case, I need not to hold control. Just I write from student up to Excel. As for that one, once you write like that one, automatically now 
you can go to insert and you come with the chart we have different types of chart as you can see we have an insert menu you just come here choose a chart you want for example that is done then you can come here choose this one that's how you can see in our chart title i can put a student performance and just put the student uh, students uh, performance uh, year 2017 year 2017 once you put uh, the same performance 2017 then there's only still you need to do the same just right click there and go to move chart choose a different sheet for example uh, sheet 6 and click ok uh, something else we have something called about the rigid here about we have something called format legend and once you go to format uh, legend there you can choose this legend because it is on bottom i can choose to be on top as you can see there or i can choose the format legend to be left or i can choose to be right side as you can see it is moving yeah, is how you can move the range the legend from one position to another that is how you format a uh, legend and uh, you can okay, you can put a different uh, color for example if i need that color i can just put there or a different types of color i can just come i put example that one or a different one as i'm desired with i can now have that kind of a chart and you can see we have the title and the other information as you can see in this case you can still right click there and click add data labels as you can see i need this one let's just hit click add data labels and i need this one i do the same add data labels and this is how you can still work on that one in case you want to put different data labels as you can see that is one and you can still right click here and enlarge a bit so that the information can be well visible to that chart that is how you insert different types of charts and you can have a variety of them in case you want to form a different tree you can have that kind of a chart there or this one or that one as you can see we have types of different charts you can just come here and choose for example that kind of a chart you can choose that one and you put as per what you want in case you want to change the chart it automatically just click there um, and now you come you change from that chart to a bar chart as you can see how it will be can be a rain chart as how it will be for the rain chart and you have different types of charts there for example that one and you can still move on to something different for example xy scatter uh, graph among others we have tree and we have robust among others waterfall as you can see how it is reflecting the information but in my case i can choose that kind of a chart or that one i can choose for example that uh, range chart i click ok and automatically you see that is how automatically you can change from one chart to another without problems you can choose the color that you want for example you can still change this one uh, and that is how smart you can keep changing from one to another without no problem that is all about the charts as we think you are understood well let's go to something else about uh, uh, excel uh, you can still move on to to about uh, uh, the informations else about um, sort and filter for example as you can see here we have a uh, sort and filter for example this information of mine I may choose to to highlight the entire worksheet for example as for this one I need to, uh, to put down to sort the names in ascending order in this case I need to highlight the entire information up to there 
once I write up to there, then from there you can go to sort and you can put from sort after highlighting choose A to Z and you have the other one for Z way is descending, A to Z is ascending. As I put there, as you can see now the names, um, in this case it means that uh, automatically you see now the information will be defined with this. But for me, I need to edit from employees. I need to edit, to edit uh, from employees there. Then from there I can come to sort and filtering and I put AZ. Automatically you can see the first person is now Abduba, Akin, Alex, Alcott, Doreen, Doris, Faith, Gabriel, and Jadid, and Kenneth. As you can see, they are automatically edited in ascending order. And once you put descending, you can see the first one is Valentine, Samuel, Sam, and Richard. That is how you put sort and filtering. Just by highlighting and you come here and you put the format that you want. You can still come to custom format whereby you need not to deal with, for example, maybe their basic pay. You need to put their basic pay from, small, from largest to smallest or from smallest to the largest. And that one, then you click OK. Automatically, you see the name that doesn't differ, but what now differs is now the their salary. That means every person with the lowest salary from 16,000 up to the person who have the highest salary of 52,009 shillings. As you can see, they have been arranged in a sending order as per that. And that is what you call custom format, a custom uh, sort. And you have something called a filter. Filter now you can just come and click a filter there. And you will see it will reflect this kind of a drop down list. In this case, I can choose maybe to filter all people whose, for example, their net pay it is about a different salary. For example, I need all people who their salary is above 30,000. So you need to come to uh, you, uh, to that drop down, drop down list of net pay uh, then you click uh, number filters and you click greater than or equal to then you come here you type 30,000 30,000 uh, from greater than or equal to then you click ok automatically you see the people who have now this in this list of mine, I have reduced, and you can see the net pay. It is above that thousand, but any person whose their salary is less than that is now do away. I have done away with, and now the left is only the people who their salary is above or equal to that thousand. That is how we do custom and filter for that. You can choose the format table. In case maybe you have a different type of chart, for example, this one, I may choose now to format, uh, I just need to write the entire table up to there, and you come to format table, and now you can choose different types of format here, as you can see, there are some of them which are nice, for example, that one, I need to click there, and I click OK, and as you can see now, I have formatted my entire table in a very nice and easier way for that that is how you work on that one in a very easy way and uh, excel it contains as many things because we have something like for example orientation whereby you can put a uh, last cap uh, for the example in a sheet and you can see when you see this line it means the end of that line that the information that you want to print can be in a position to be in a printing area. So you can just come and click set printing area. You say okay. And you need now to highlight the entire information, for example, that one. Then you come to set printing area. It means you'll be in a position that the information you want to put now can be at least be in a position to be printed within that area you have highlighted. And you can make sure that it is highlighted in a very easy way or still you can try to come and manipulate all the settings here to get the information you want or you go to printer settings and you adjust your printer setting or you come to margin uh, custom margin 
and now you can adjust your page here and you can uh, try to adjust a little bit here so that everything you want now to appear should be in here or just click printer preview to see some of the information and how you want to print it that is some of the information as you can see we have in excel more formulas there for insert function out of so much you have financial logical among others those are just some of the formulas you can see you are not exhausted all of them those are just some of the highlights in excel you can see we have something like normal page you have the page break whereby you can see the page it has been zoomed uh, in uh, zoomed uh, out a bit and you can see now the page one where it look uh, how it how it reached and page two for that one you can see when you go to page uh, the page layout you can see how it look like and you can see the information for that one you need not to, uh, to know those information so that when you come to print you can be able to know uh, how you're gonna print that information because it is very crucial for that one and in this case uh, we have uh, more information there in our uh, tutorial downloads where you can see most of the information there we have the tutorial download don't forget to subscribe we have a fan page such as kenya tutorial uh, underscore kenya for twitter and uh, instagram tutorials underscore kenya just uh, follow us there and get more information in our website also and be helpful for you to get most of those information and you enjoy them as you subscribe thank you